Keystone Orr and myself at the rail. Ombro Ranger with Joe O'Brien. Windshield Wiper steered by Billy Houghton. Precious Fellow in rain to Del Cameron. Warm Breeze teamed by Dick Farrington. Raven Hannah with George Shoulder. Mandate and Merritt Dulkey. And Calvacade with John Hayes Jr. in the bike. Drawing the rail was going to be the key. Ombro Ranger was the horse to beat. I was prepared to do battle with him. Keystone Orr would have it easy until Joe made his move. They're off and pacing, going for the lead. Precious fell in the middle of the track. Keystone Orr down along the rail. Umbro Ranger between horses as they race into the turn. Windshield wiper fourth at the rail. Warm breeze pacing fifth. Raven Hanover is sixth. Cavalcade on the outside seventh. As they race to the back stretch, mandate at the rail. Racing to the first quarter, up on the outside. It's Precious Fella to take command. Keystone Orr racing second at the rail. Umbro Ranger is third. Windshield wiper fourth at the quarter in 29 seconds. Warm breeze pacing fifth. Raven Hanover is sixth as they race around the turn. Mandate racing seventh. Cavalcade trails the field at the three-eighths mark. Here comes Keystone Orr on the move on the outside. The challenge Precious Fella for command. Into the stretch, passing the turn of the first time, coming to the halfway mark. It's Keystone Orr with the lead. Precious Fella is second. Hydro Ranger third at the rail. They reach the half in 59 and 3. Windshield wiper goes to the outside along with Armbro Ranger. Horn Breeze fifth at the rail. Raven Hanover on the outside six. The battle's on with Keystone Moore at the rail. Armbro Ranger on the outside second. Gracious Fella third at the rail. Windshield wiper on the outside fourth as they race down the back stretch going to the three-quarter mark. It's Keystone Moore with the lead. Armbro Ranger is second. Gracious Fella third at the rail. The three quarters in one and 29 and one. Windshield wiper on the outside fourth. Warm breeze is fifth. Little more than an eighth of a mile to go. Keystone Moore opens up by two lengths. Armbro Ranger fading on the outside. Precious Fella at the rail. Warm breeze goes to the outside third. As they come to the payoff, it's Keystone Moore with the lead. Precious Fella, Warm breeze to the outside. Keystone Moore in the yard. Equaling the world's record for two heats. Keystone Orr winning the jug, winning easy. Equaling Brett Hanover's two-heat world record for three-year-old pacing colts over a half-mile track. Definitely one of the greatest thrills in my life. Orr had now won two legs of pacing's big three. And winning Roosevelt's messenger stake would give him something an albatross never had. The honor and the prestige of the Triple Crown. I'd like to thank my partners, Irma Perry and Frank Perry, Robert Jones, and my wife, Rachel, and Mrs. Hilda Silverstein for their confidence in Keystone Orr and myself. A special thanks to Orr's groom, Roy Penner, for a fantastic job all year long. This horse has proven he's a super great one, and he doesn't need to do a whole lot more. To be a Triple Crown winner would mean a lot, but already this horse has done more than any horse for many years. No matter what else happens from here on, at Roosevelt or anywhere, I wouldn't think there could be much doubt about the horse's greatness. You're looking at the next horse of the year, maybe even the decade. On October 30th, 1976, Stanley Dancer took Keystone Orr into Roosevelt Raceway for the Messenger State, the third jewel in Pacing's Triple Crown. They finished second. But this loss could not diminish the record accomplishments of the Colt. On December the 5th, 1976, the nation's harness riders honored the sophomore as Harness Horse of the Year. <laughs>